Okay, I'm gonna just keep this short, man. I'm gonna put this first, and then the little bit that... Oh, I didn't do the little bit. I actually did a lot in that yard. That Those bricks were really heavy, man. Those big ones. <laughs> digging, digging, digging. I smell like dirt, people. My house smells like dirt. Comes in at the bottom of the feet and blows in the wind. And I have to get up and wipe things down and... I cover things and I have to wash them because they're dusty and... Anyway, I'm out there, you know, I'm doing whatever and I'm... Honest to God, I am trying so hard to stay positive. I am trying so hard to stay positive and just... Hunker down and get on with the pond, clean up the front, you know, I mean, obviously I got the whole yard to do, right? I'm getting kind of tired it, tired of it. But there's nothing I can do about it, people, because if I just let it g go like a jungle, it's not long before it would be a freaking jungle, okay? And, um, you know, I've been working on this pond for how many years now, right? So I am really put a, a lot of effort in today to, to just focus on the pond, right? So I I came in a little earlier because I'm like one I'm I'm like sore because that those bricks were like hard heavy and you know I'm digging and I'm shoveling dirt and you know just whatever and uh, so I'm like oh just go in and go have a coffee so that's what I'm having right now I'm having a coffee because I started to feel really really nauseated out there for a minute. And, uh, because I'm not well, people. This shit, this, you know, it's like, it's, it's like off the wall, right? Um, you know, I've had, like, headaches for the last three days, tension or something, whatever it is. But, you know, I don't, I don't like hearing it from my landlady, like, you know, when are you going to move those bins? Well, when I get a chance. So I was going to move the bins today, but instead I focused on laying bricks. Walkway. I'm working on the walkway, and I'm now I'm sculpting the pond. I'm starting to sculpt it, but I don't know what I'm doing. That's the thing. I'm So I'm going to get up in the morning and get out there very early and just sculpt the, the pond. <laughs> right? And I'm because I'm trying to get rid of the buckets, right, with rocks and gravel, and mm, Sierra brings extra freaking gravel to my yard, people. Oh my god, I don't know how she drags it to the house, but she does. And it's so annoying. I'm using it right now for the bricks that I'm laying down, but I mean, at some point, you know, I'm going to have to drag it to the freaking road and pour it out on the road. And then she drags it back into my yard. And it's just stupid. But, you know, I'm like thinking about, what was it, yesterday the social worker came to the house? <laughs> That's what happens when I'm working like this, people, or just whatever, right? Like this, this whatever it is, it's just not good. So anyway, I'm I'm thinking and I'm like, You know, it's pretty easy for them to use a video of Sierra coming to the house after she got out of the hospital. Obviously, she's severely sick to the point where she can die at any moment. Nothing's been done for years with these problems that she has physically not to mention her mental state and her living conditions and all these other things that go on with Sierra. And, you know, I put it at a good 95% that it came in that phone call from those, you know, the Lurker Dad family, right? Because, you know, they're causing trouble, people. There's a lot of shit in the background going on right now. Right? With trouble. Trouble that is completely unnecessary. Outside of cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> you know? 
and I have to navigate around all this shit. But, you know, that dude, scoundrel, he sells fucking drugs, people. He's still selling drugs. How he died because of that scoundrel and drugs. But you don't go see them knocking on their door now, do you? Why is that? Why? The social worker watched my video. Do you think that's the only video those social workers have watched over the years? They probably use my videos as a case study for their, you know, to learn and to discuss things. <laughs> right? I would. Because it's pretty raw in how I explain it as to what really goes on in the real world. And why? <laughs> so, if they're using a simple video like that, why don't they fucking go to that place over there and, you know, go talk to that dude, right? That scoundrel. Why? Because I'm not phoning them up and doing an anonymous report and saying, hey, you know, there's this baby that gets picked up by these people and they deliver him to a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. You should go investigate. It's not like they don't know people. I've been saying it since fucking day one in court. They've been to court in the past because they called social services on me the day Shimei died. I went to court, put the emergency application in for, you know, guardianship or whatever. Judge said, come back in seven days after you serve the dude, the scoundrel. And when I showed up, there were the social workers. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> they tried to get the social workers to take the baby away from me. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, he's a fucking drug dealer. He killed Shimei. So why aren't they intervening with that? What? It's hearsay? Oh, okay. That's why Howie's dead now. That's why these people don't like to talk about Shimei and act like Shimei was never born. Never mind had a life. Or had a right to live. Right? <clears throat> <clears throat> like one day people I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking move. I'm gonna fucking move and get away from this shit. Right? But right now I can't. And that's why I'm doing this yard, people, because I can't. Even if I wanted to, I can't. You know? And like like my landlady, she has no fucking concept that I'm giving up my fucking life for a yard that's just going to be ripped up because the property developer is going to come in and make this beautiful presto wood plastic wired up fucking monster home that your can can't live in because it's, you know, unless of course you go in the back, right? Like on the back of the bus kind of thing, right? Unless of course you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to pay the fucking rent. Like, it's stupid. So anyway, you know, it is what it is, people. I'm, I'm working in the yard for this week. It, it, I'm, I'm focusing on the pond. That's, that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> I have to buy another pump <coughs> because now that winter's coming, and this is another thing my landlady doesn't stop to think about, um, you know, I can't use the brand new pump that I have right now for this pond that I'm building because when it starts fucking raining and if the garage backs up I need that pump in order to pump everything out so I'm looking at another hundred dollars to go buy another pump so I have one on hand in the event that the shit starts backing up into the garage or it starts coming up through that hole in the laundry room which happened one year. And it's just random, right? Because the pipe is a problem.
so I'm spending more money that technically I can't really afford to spend. But you know what? I said to Andre today, and I'm going to end it on this note. I said, you know, Andre Nana's getting really tired of being in the dirt. Like I am, people. You don't, you don't know how tired I am. And then being treated like dirt doesn't make it any better either, right? <laughs> so, but I said, you know, Andre, I, I guess it's, I guess it's okay though because you get to learn how to do these things so that when you get older, you know, you're going to be able to build your own pond. I'll just leave it on that note, people. What else am I doing it for? Right? If I'm not doing it for Andre, what else am I doing it for? Right? Because, you know... I'm just going to get cut up for it, and it won't be enough. Even though I'm, like, putting my all into it. Okay, people. So now we're on to September 18th, 2019. Do you see this right here? Right? This is what I'm going to do, people, today. I am laying down two to three bricks, the big ones I had. Remember I told you I want to make a nice little walkway right up to the water tap. <laughs> and then this way, when you're walking on the walkway, you're not getting a bunch of mud on your shoes, right? Obviously, I'm going to start cleaning up in here. I need to move these bins with the hay over there. So basically what I'm trying to say, people, is I'm going to spend my day out here, right? And what is it? We're into September, so I still have October, November, and quite possibly... Ooh, I hate walking through spider webs, man. <laughs> uh, quite possibly December. I've been known to be out in the yard in December, depending on the weather. I don't like it because my hands get really cold, but that's okay. So yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm... Oh, another spider web. I haven't been out here for a while, people. And look, there's a bumblebee. He's a wild bumblebee just flying around. They love my flowers, people. Yeah, I have I have hummingbirds flying around in the back, uh, eating the flowers from the uh, the beans that I have growing back there, right? And I have bumblebees still flying around, you know, because they just love these flowers. <laughs> this is what I like about these flowers. They tend to uh, still bloom even in fall. I mean, look at that. They're beautiful. This one here. If I had more time, I'd press flowers, but I don't have a lot of time. So anyway, as you can see, everything's gone wild. Wild and crazy. Oh, there's some tomatoes. You know, this year was a very bad year in terms of anything that I did in the yard, which wasn't very much. You know, it rains, the water, the buckets fill up. So anyway, we're going to get this done in the next couple of months. It's going to be a whole lot better. But where we're starting right now is over there and I'm working all day people right up until dark right up till dark that's the way it works around here look at that beautiful fern it just sprang up do you see that that's lovely okay so uh, this is when I <laughs> start getting the camera dirty But I don't really like this camera because it jumps. I upload a video and it's jumping, you know, so it looks like I'm editing it. And also too, some of these cameras, they, uh, they only allow you to uh, record for like, uh, what is it called, 30 minutes and then it shuts itself off right in mid-sentence and, uh, hold on. And then it records so that when you go to, you know, convert your video over, when what ends up happening is uh, there's a piece missing in there. So, but I'm so busy, I haven't had time to really get into those other cameras and mess around. So basically what I'm doing, people, I'll show you after, is I'm in the spot where I want to lay down those big bricks, you'll see because I'm getting two or three of them in today for sure. And I'm gonna get up into this corner here because I have to build a ledge so that I can stand on the ledge and work with the plants versus trying to walk on water, <laughs> right? Because can't walk on water, people. So I'm, you know, in my head, I'm like, okay, 
you're here now. This is what you're doing for the whole day, right? Because it this is labor intensive work. This is what men do, people, right? And they get good money for it when they do it because it's not easy work. What I'm doing right now is I'm just loosening up the ground, taking out these lovely rocks so that I can either use them as drainage rocks because sometimes I'm going to try and build in a little uh, drainage around at least half of the pond. Uh, as I work on the pond, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, you can use it as decoration, right? You can also use it as, uh, what do you call it? Oops, wrong, wrong bin. Use it at the bottom of a <clears throat> platter pot so that uh, it's drainage for the, for, the, for the roots as they're growing, right? So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just loosening up the dirt, all right? And taking out the rocks as I go, separating them, right? And then uh, I'm gonna sliver off, level it, all right? See where I wanna go with it, get my bricks, and then you lay gravel down and then you lay a bit of sand over the gravel and then you lay down your brick right so that over a period of time it settles in and uh, it doesn't move right so and then the dirt is which is not really dirt it's dirt but it's it's not enriched dirt I'm putting a bin over there and then as I'm going about my travels I'll just mix it in with other dirt or wherever. My goal, people, is just to have this pretty much all tidied up by December. Right? Doesn't have to be perfect, but the, more, the majority of these bricks need to be laid down, you know. And uh, Tisha's just going to have to help me out just a little little extra because once it's down people they're down don't have to fucking do it again the pipe has been done they're not ripping up the yard anytime soon it's really really nice when these walkways are laid down and you can walk on them and there's you know the it's been weeded and you know the yard is looking good and she's life hasn't been easy right so anyway i'm up for it you know this is what I mean by teaching Andre to, oops, throwing some of these rocks in the wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, uh, teaching Andre, you know, finish what you started, right? At least try, you know? Not everything in life do you finish what you started, but you can definitely try. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna take out whatever, right? And then, as I work on it, you know, I'll just walk you through it. Hold on a minute. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> right? So I'm taking out all the rocks. Right? I'm going to do that all the way up and through here. I'm going to move this big ass baby. I already moved that big ass baby. And I'm just going to make my path to my water hose. I've got one, two, three, four. So if I work all day, I should be able to get to at least this part, which is only not even four feet away from the water tap now, which is good. And for fun, so because that gets grueling, people. That's hard work, okay? <laughs> then I'm going to, you know, when I just need a little break and do something a little more, maybe not so intensive, I have to figure out a way to build a, you know, a little ramp. So I can stand here on the ramp, work in here, do what I need to do without falling into the water or having to walk into the water. Hey, one in people. My gloves are trash though. We can. Oh, we're already. <laughs> oh, ripped up. 
Anyway, one. I'm not sure. I need to start going that way. <coughs> so I got the three in. One, two, three. You can see it wasn't easy. Nope. Don't know what I'm doing, people. <laughs> Do you see? You can actually walk on those bricks. Right? Honestly, people, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. And I'm, I'm feeling very nauseated right now with this situation because I am so tired of this dirt. <laughs> you can't imagine. I, when I moved in, people, it was nothing but fucking sand from the wall down to the road. Full of sand. This whole, all of it, all of it, all of it, people. It was just nothing but fucking sand. Morning glory, weeds, and cat shit. Because the cats liked to shit in it because it was fucking sand. <laughs> and then under the sand was, was rocks. You know, those, those rocks. As, <laughs> because I guess they were going to lay down a driveway, and they never did. They were going to do something. But it was these things under the sand. Mind you, when I started laying down the bricks, doing whatever I've been doing, I kind of thought the sand was a good thing. If I need sand, I kind of know where to go find it still. <laughs> but it's, this, this yard is like, it's made me sick. Seriously, my ears ring. And, you know, I got this pressure and oh my God. The only reason I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling kind of sick right now because I've been doing this. The sun is going down. You can see the sun is over there now, right? <laughs> I've been out here like hours and hours and hours in the fucking mud. I can't stand it. I wish my landlady would appreciate everything that I've done in this yard for her. I so wish she would appreciate it. Like, she has no clue how much I gave up my life for this crap. But I'm climbing that mountain, people, you know? Old people, they get stuck in their ways, and, you know, in order for them to, you know, you, whatever. So anyway, I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing. I'm gonna go in and make coffee for now. There's another hour or two of light out here, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> I don't know, do something in here, right, because I, I want to get on with it, people, like, I'm not a bricklayer, you see all those bricks over there, I got a whole pile of bricks over there, I got bricks over there, so anyway, I'm trying to think what to do, right, I don't know what to do, so I think I'm going <coughs> to, anyway, you've seen what I did today so far, I'm not going to be mucking no more with with this I wanted my three in I'm good I wanted to do that I'm good I'm just not feeling very well because I'm uh, mud I'm sick of the mud right the mud makes me sick but this is why I'm doing it people this is exactly why I'm doing it to get rid of the fucking mud it's just I haven't been able to work out here because Shemaine is not here with her baby and I've been looking after her Murray. Basically, for the most part, right? You know, Tisha helps, but I do a lot, people. So anyway, I'm just gonna go make myself a coffee and just start weeding, I guess. You know, all this. That's easy. Look, see how fast it grows? That's what one of those bags of cement for is for. Is to uh, put uh, a little bit of cement in here so this shit doesn't grow like this. Alright, so maybe tomorrow. Well, it depends. I, 
It doesn't matter what I do, people. It's never enough. You know that. Right? It's always going to be something else. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. Like, what the fuck? Hurry up. Get it done. Yeah, okay. You come outside and try this shit. See how far you get with it. <laughs> right? And then have it almost done the first time and then somebody comes along and fucking rips it up and made it ten times worse. And you still fixing it after all these years. But once it's nice, people, once it's done, you're going to see how nice it is. Like, serious. Like, it will be so nice. You can really feel the energy when it's, when it's on a... When it's, like, almost done. Like, last time when I had it almost done, I had people come into my yard and just literally just stand in it and I guess it had energy or something that they were drawn to but I'd open up my door and there'd be people just standing here just standing here this was before the, it got ripped up the first time right and I know if I do this again that's what people will do they'll just come and they'll just stand because it, it, it has energy right anyway <laughs>